Sailing is a very exciting sport because um, it involves being outside, it involves being on the water, and it's very much um, a teamwork exercise. You know, you can't go out on a sailing boat, especially um, when you're racing, and win on your own. So it really involves a group of people. You have one person on the helm, it might be the boat owner, and then you need um, a team of three or five or seven more people, and they, know how to, they need to know how to use the sails, to trim the sails, to take the sails up and down. Um, and if you're racing, those things are um, absolutely important because they need to be done very quickly. So if you have an efficient team that works together, you have much more chance of winning. Other important things about sailing are in, involves entirely relying on the wind. So you need to know where the wind is, where it's coming from, how strong it is, what sails to rig. Um, and, and the wind and the weather constantly changes. So the interesting thing about sailing is it's never the same twice, even if you sail in the same place. So th there's always um, a different challenge because of the weather and the wind and the tide. Um, sailing here in Malaysia is so good because it's always warm. The, the sea's not cold, you don't have to wear heavy clothing and even shorts and t-shirts all the time. It can be a little hot, but um, that's, be that's, that's better than getting um, soaked in cold water all the time, you know. And Malaysia has some wonderful places to sail. It has Langkawi and um, Rebac and Penang, so beautiful coastline. So if you're cruising, if you're going around and just sailing for pleasure and stopping places, there are just many wonderful places to go in Malaysia. Most boats um, of the size that we use here uh, have two sails. There's a, a main sail, which is the kind of main driving force, and um, a thing that we call a foresail or a genoa. Um, both of those sails have to work together. They work like um, an aeroplane wing to drive the boat along. Then there's always somebody steering the boat, that's the helmsman or the skipper. They might have a thing called a tiller, which is a, a, a long stick or pole, if you like, that connects to the rudder, or they might have a wheel. But whatever they're steering with, they, they, the two things work in the same way. Um, boats vary in size very much. The boats we have here are something like um, 25 feet to 35 feet, maybe about um, 7 to 10 meters. And they'll take from about um, 4 to 8 people, typically. And then we have uh, winches and ropes to control the sails, so that the sails are all controlled by ropes. Um, so you have to know which rope to pull at the right time, basically, and, and that's quite a complex thing. <laughs> um, it's a kind of combined thrill, really. It's being out on the water, um, relying on only the wind, so it's a force of nature. You know, you're, you're very much involved with the forces of nature when you're sailing. Um, the wind, the tide, um, the, if, it, if, it, if it rains, if it's sunny. Um, but you need to understand these forces of nature and they change all the time. You know, sometimes they're very kind to you, the wind is quite low or it's moderate, it's not raining. Other times the wind may be very strong. Uh, you may have rain, you may have all sorts of other um, problems to handle. So it's kind of dealing with these forces of nature that's really the exciting thing about sailing. That and working with a team of people really, um, you know, being part of a, a group that um, knit together well and, and make the boat sail well.